Hello friends, we learned in our earlier lessons that when resistors R1, R2, R3 etc are connected in series, the total resistance of the circuit R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. Same current I flows through all the resistors in a series circuit, whereas different potential difference V1, V2 is seen across each resistor based on its resistance value. Whereas when resistors R1, R2, R3 etc are connected in parallel, total resistance of the circuit R is equal to 1 by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 and so on. Here same potential difference V is seen across all the resistors, whereas different current I1, I2, I3 etc flows through each resistor based on its resistance value. Now let us solve some numericals. Say we are trying to light a bulb with a 6 volt cell. If the resistance of the bulb is 24 ohms and another resistance in the circuit is 6 ohms, can you tell how much current is it will draw from the cell? 24 ohm and 6 ohm resistors are in series, so total resistance will be some of them which is equal to 24 plus 6 which is equal to 30 ohms. So this is the total resistance of the circuit. So now we use ohms formula I is equal to V by R. So I is equal to 6 by 30 which is equal to 0.2 amp current is flowing throughout the circuit. Now in series connection potential difference across each resistor can be different. So what is the potential difference across the electric bulb? V equal to IR. I is equal to 0.2 amp, R is equal to 24 ohms, so V is equal to 0 0.2 into 24, which is equal to 4.8 volts. So it is less than 6 volt as seen across the cell. Now potential difference across the other resistor is 0 0.2 into 6, which is equal to 1.2 volts. And the sum of V1 plus V2 is equal to 4.8 plus 1.2 which is equal to 6 volts which is same as V the potential difference of the cell so V1 plus V2 is equal to V this is what we have learnt isn't it let us take another example now what happens when we connect many devices in parallel in real life scenarios say 3 resistors 40 ohm, 20 ohm and 25 ohms are connected in parallel to a 220 volt power source. How much current will they draw together? Potential difference across each resistor is equal to potential difference across the power source. So for the first resistor I1 will be equal to V by R1 which is equal to 220 by 40. So that is equal to 5.5 amp current is flowing through R1. Same way for the second resistor I2 equal to V by R2 which is equal to 220 by 20 equal to 11 amp and for the third resistor I3 equal to V by R3 which is equal to 220 by 25 which is equal to 8.8 .8 amp current is flowing through R3. So the total current through the circuit I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 which will be equal to 5.5 plus 11 plus 8.8 .8, which is equal to 25.3 amps. Now what is the total resistance of the circuit? R is equal to 1 by in bracket 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So putting in the values we get R is equal to 1 by 1 by 40 plus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 25. Solve it. So that becomes 1 by 0 0.025 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.04. And this comes out to be 1 by 0 0.115 which is close to 8.7 ohms. So the current through the main circuit I is equal to 220 by total resistance 8.7 ohms which is equal to 25.3 amp. So I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 this is exactly what we have learnt. That's all for now. Bye-bye.